Hello crafty friends, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Hope you're all doing well today. I'm on here with a haul video. So I've been um, trying to find the new Pink Fresh The Simple Things collection um, for quite some time now. Ever since I saw that it was coming out I thought it was really cute and I also thought it looked like it would go really well with the new Poppy and Pear collection. So I was lucky enough to find one online place that had like a few items left and I was extremely lucky to get the very last paper pad of it and I haven't seen it anywhere else on any of the other um, Australian online scrapbooking stores. They, um, you can order it from Pink Fresh Studios website, but they were basically going to be charging me like $65 for shipping um, from America to Australia, which is just way too much. <laughs> it's way too much. So, um, yeah, I was lucky to find this from All About Scrapbooks, which was an online um, business for scrapbooking supplies and other crafty items. So let's get into it and I'll show you what I did grab with what they had. They did only have a couple of things left with some of the items. Like I said, I think I grabbed the very last the very last paper pad. Um, but you never know, someone else might end up getting it in. And I also got some loose um, 12 by 12 paper that I absolutely loved. I thought it was so beautiful. And it came in a pizza box and then in this nice big um, clear bag, which I can reuse this because it's quite a nice one with the handle. Okay, so I might move this off to the side for the meantime and we'll go through the paper last. Okay, so I ended up grabbing two of the um, puffy stickers because look at that. Look at how many you get. Have you ever seen so many puffy stickers in different sizes and shapes? So this was $9. You get 161 puffy stickers. Like how pretty is that? You got little stars and hearts and crosses and strawberries. <laughs> flowers, diamonds, and the colours are just so pretty. I'm loving the little um, cups of like coffee and the floral pieces. So I grabbed two of those, but yeah, that is... That's, this is probably the best puffy stickers I have ever seen as far as, you know, the amount that you get. Like, this is going to last quite a while. It's a really good amount, especially, um, you know, for the price as well. I then grabbed the um, journaling bits. You get 14 pieces. And this was $10. You get all these gorgeous, you know, library pockets and envelopes. So I only grabbed the one pack of, of these. I usually like to just get one pack of um, journaling sort of pieces, mainly because they usually are quite expensive. Uh, some of these pieces are a little big in this journal pack, but... I mainly loved it for all the little like tags and the um, library pockets. 
like how gorgeous is this tag it is so bright and colorful absolutely gorgeous I'm loving that with the the blue and then the gold um, eyelet there it's really pretty we've got a little like um, what would you call it like a frame type um, piece <laughs> I don't know um, a library pocket again in those really gorgeous colors It's a very fun collection. We've got this one here. Oh, I like the back. Look at that. We pop something pretty and pink and blue in there. And um, like, what could you do? You could do this. Look at that. We've got this big tag here. I love that they come with the nice big gold eyelets in there. They're really pretty. You've got this piece here. has like a cup of tea or coffee on it. And this is this collection's kind of like an all-round collection. Like it's not specific, I guess, to any um, like holiday or theme. It, it's a bit of like everyday life, basically. We have this piece here. Love this one. This is a really big um, library pocket. I love this um, this paper. You'll see this pattern paper. I grabbed a few of these because I just think it's so beautiful. We have this big ombre one which is quite long it's very big look at ah oh, look at all the rainbows <laughs> it's all just so pretty and look at this envelope look at that patterned paper with those florals it is just so pretty i love that the front bit of the envelope the coin envelope is um, like a pastel blue. Oh, it's just such a gorgeous collection. I had to have it when I saw it. I'm like, yep, yeah, and this is going to go perfect with um, all the poppy and pear pieces that, that I grabbed, which I haven't really had a chance to play with yet um, because I have been playing with... Rainbow Avenue at the moment, but yeah, then I think I'll move on like once I've done all my sort of Easter crafting I'm gonna move on to like these sorts of fun bright pretty um, collections Absolutely stunning. I then grabbed the um, Vellum Ephemera. This was also $10. You get 47 Vellum Ephemera pieces. And I thought they looked really pretty. I believe I only got one packet of the Vellum pieces because I won't use them as much as the other packs of Ephemera, but they are all the gorgeous pieces that you get so you get like an envelope with your flowers coming out butterflies um potted plants paint brushes vases with flowers there's like a, a cherry cherry milk carton <laughs> there i think it's cherry it could be oranges Oh, there's a gorgeous um, paint palette. 
so this is basically a collection for us crafters because it's got your crafty items and then your everyday items so you can see these here look at that gorgeous vellum paint palette and then you've got some pretty um, floral pieces in different sizes colors and look at this cute little carton of um, orange juice in the vellum so really really pretty colors and there's some bigger pieces there's some smaller pieces try and get some out little um, like coffee cup you got a big butterfly piece you got some little like um, pop out little Polaroids or frames um, in vellum you got these beautiful floral pieces these are my favorite types of like flowers when i'm working with collections like how gorgeous are they i like that um that style with this one with the lavender sort of color very pretty and then it's also got like you know pots of flowers and vases like you got your um succulents or your argave type what do you call it um aloe vera type plants things like that so and then it also gives you oh look at that this is like a little um book book stack and you've got an envelope with the flowers coming out and then you've got like smaller pieces as well so you've got smaller flowers and um little strawberries And how beautiful is this vellum tag? Oh, so pretty. Look at this piece. So gorgeous. So they're the vellum pieces. Which are absolutely stunning. I believe that this one was a harder collection to get because I think it was done by like a French designer, I think. Something like that. I could be wrong. <laughs> so that's the vellum set. And then you've got the, um, the normal ephemera set normal you know you know what I mean um just like the ephemera with 48 pieces this was ten dollars as well and I got two packets of these ones and look at all the pretty pretty pieces you get a little slice of pink cake a um like an iced chocolate or coffee and a takeaway cup basket of fruit and vegetables from the market a camera cups of tea or coffee books paintbrush paint palette open journal oh so cute that's why i ended up getting um two packets of this because i find that ephemera you know it goes a long way with your crafting you're not going to go through it all too quickly okay you've got lots of pretty um word pieces in there that you guys can kind of see absolutely gorgeous you have floral pieces you've got your little frappuccino you've got a flower it's like a little um, 
clipboard, your floral envelope, pretty floral tag, cute little cottage or house. Look at this pink strawberry. So pretty. Got another a juice and a basket with vegetables and fruit. We've got a jug, a little tea or coffee coffee cup, which is really pretty. What have we got here that's turned over? Oh, so cute. You got a beautiful camera, a slice of cake. And we got here a beautiful frame with like a scalloped edge. That's really pretty. Oh, wow, you get two of those. What a bonus. I'm wondering if that was an accident or if you meant to get two. Either way, that's um that's awesome because you can make then like a pair of like shakers or something. You've got a plant and a in a pot. You have this really cute dog. I believe it's like a whippet maybe or a greyhound type dog. I could be wrong. <laughs> You've got When you focus on the good, the good gets better. Small joys. These pretty, just look at the colour. You guys can see why I grabbed this collection and all the sizes and the pieces and it's really good um, quality. I find that Pink Fresh Studios um, quality of paper and ephemera is always really good. And this you've got like a, a journal, a rainbow vase with flowers coming out, which I actually have a vase just like this in my craft room that I used to store all my um, pens and scissors and all of those things. You've got a little paintbrush. You've got a little stamp and lots of words and little tags and something. This looks like a little jar of something. I'm not too sure. Maybe it's just a pot like that you put your flowers in. But you can see there's um, lots of sort of smaller pieces as well as bigger pieces. You know, if you guys saw the little, like, look at these little flowers and suns. So, yeah, really good, really good, um, colourful, fun collection. And wait until I show you the paper. <laughs> I haven't um, looked at it yet, but I've seen it online. So, I mean, it's the reason I got this collection. I know sometimes things are a bit different, but like I said, they've got really good quality stuff. And, and so far, like, I am loving all of these pieces. So pretty. So yeah, got two of those to to work with. Um, I then grabbed two of the layered um, stickers. So you get eleven pieces, and they were eight dollars twenty-five. They're a little bit flat, but they're really pretty. I love. Like, how cute is that clipboard with flower pot? 
you got a cup of coffee. You could add your own little bits and pieces onto these, like, you know, diamond dots and gems and nouveau drops or whatnot. Layer them up. So, yeah, two packets of those. Whoops. I dropped a, a pot, a vase, I should say, came out of one of the packs. So I'll just move these off to the side. I'll just have a drink. <laughs> Sorry, it's going to be like 30, I think 30 something degrees today. So gone from cold day to warm day again. Okay, so what I might do is I might show you the loose sheets first of um, the 12 by 12 double sided paper that I grabbed. Um, these were ones that I just thought were so beautiful. I wanted extra. So this one is called Feeling Inspired. And again, for those of you that um, don't remember, this collection was called The Simple Things. How beautiful is that, that patterned paper? And this is what I'm talking about, about the cardstock. It's like really good quality. It's got a really good GSM. Um, you've got this green sort of pattern on the B side. So I grabbed a couple of those because I just thought it was such a gorgeous pattern. I then grabbed this one as well. I thought it was so pretty. This one is called Specks of Happiness. look at all those colors so fun this is the B side it's got like a uh, chess board with um, daisies but like I said I did grab it for this one here it's so gorgeous so I grabbed a couple of those I then grabbed two of this one here, which is called Rays of Sunshine. And the B side is just this, um, I don't know what you'd call this, like a weird sort of floral or fan sort of pattern. Maybe we'll call it a floral pattern. So I grabbed a couple of those. Some of them I didn't grab two, I only grabbed one. It was it depended on what it was, I think. Or maybe I did grab two of each. I can't remember. This gorgeous one here, I absolutely loved the, the florals and the colours of this one. This one is called Life is Sweet. And then it has this beautiful sort of pinky um, lilac sort of color with white flowers. It's a really pretty pink. I would have to say it's in between pink and yeah, lilac or some kind of pale purple color. It's beautiful. Oh, and that's it. So they're my favorite ones that I grabbed just of um, the loose sheets. And this is the paper pack that I was able to grab. It was $22. Um, from memory, I think I paid about $1.80 or $2.10 for each of these 12 by 12 loose sheets. And yeah, this was the last paper pad left. Like, 
I couldn't believe it. Like, I just happened to find it at the exact right time before they sold out. So, let's have a look. How pretty. Oh, so it's actually all wrapped up in um, clad wrap. So I'm going to have to be careful. I'm like trying to open it from this way because. I like the pattern on the top more than this pattern here. <laughs> and this is a really good idea to put your cardstock in plastic like this. So when it's traveling, all over the world to other craft stores and suppliers it's not if it's gonna rain um, it's gonna keep it protected better so I think that's a really good idea so here's the first page this one's called all the things it gives you a whole heap of gorgeous cut aparts And the B side, oh wow, look at that. How pretty is that? I don't believe they had the 12 by 12 of this. Or maybe they did, I'm not sure. They only had a few of the loose ones, but this is actually, oh, this is so stunning. How beautiful. I think I prefer that that rainbow side compared to the cut apart side and you guys know I usually love my cut aparts <laughs> so we've got this one again specs of happiness which I already showed you guys you've got this um, here comes the fun and it's got like um, sort of stamp cut aparts on here you can use it as cut aparts or not it's up to you but they're really cute oh and more beautiful rainbow colors on the b side i'm really gonna have trouble um <laughs> choosing a side i think Just there, both sides are really lovely in this collection. I've got Rays of Sunshine, which you guys saw me haul just before. I shared it with you, that one. Um, we have this fun one. quite like how they've done this. This one is called Take Note. So it's kind of like all your journaling pieces that you can cut out. If you wanted to and then they've made it look like they've got that you know they've had washi tape and um, paper clips and that on them really cute and then the other side you got these beautiful um, suns You've got this one here, Celebrate Today, which really reminds me of like a retro sort of pattern, this one. I'm wondering what the B side looks like. Oh, we've got like rainbow sort of wonky stripes. This one's cute. Look at all these little fun pieces this one's called small joys and look at all those cute we've got donuts strawberries cherries coffee 
rainbows, paint brushes, scissors. So gorgeous. And all the other side is like a whole heap of bright, colourful looking retro flowers. Really is such a happy collection. We've got this one here, which looks like hills or rainbows. It's called Happy List. And the B side, you've got a whole heap of words, which you could fussy cut out to make um, embellishments, kind of like what I did with my Easter ones the other day. You guys would have seen I created these cute little Easter word banner embellishments. So you can do stuff like this um, with these types of papers. And just seeing, no, yep, so it is still the paper pack. I'm just making sure it wasn't my extras that I'm going through again. Um, Life is Sweet, which you guys saw. Absolutely love those florals with the pink on the other side. This gorgeous one, Feeling Inspired. Absolutely love this pattern. If I can get it. Oh, no, that's the whole... I'm like, why does it feel so thick? It's because the cardstock is actually thick. I thought I was holding two um, two sheets. <laughs> I thought they were stuck together, but it's just the great quality of this. And that one is... Let me just... There we go. This one is called Beautiful Day. This is probably the only pattern that I'm not too fond of, to be honest, in this whole collection. Mainly because it's got a lot of red and orange. So I would probably use this side here. And then last one, super adorable. This is called Happy Place. And you've got a whole heap of envelopes with the flowers sticking out. So pretty. And this is the B side. It's almost like a whole heap of confetti shapes. So there is my recent haul. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and this absolutely gorgeous collection. It is so pretty. And I think I'm going to have so much fun playing with this. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye.